Okay, now we're going to show you how to save or burn the file that we saved, the SS chip 64K file, to a 512K chip using cut and paste, or should I say copy and paste. First thing you want to do is we're going to want to load the file. So again, up to file. Open. SS6499.bin. Nothing in this window. File's now loaded. But it's loaded as a 27C64 file. So what you want to do is go up to code. And notice that the file starts at offset 000. And when we scroll all the way down to the bottom, it ends in 1FF0. That's one page of 64K of information. Problem is the 512K chip has eight pages of 64K information. We're going to need to copy this file to the 512 chip eight times. Now the way we do that on this one, which is just one method, there's, you know there are other methods. First thing you want to do is go to the top of the file come over to the very first line, left click, and highlight the entire listing. Keep going until you get all the way to the bottom. Get all the way to the bottom, the 1FF0, come up into the information, right click, click copy. You've just copied that first entire page of 64K of information. Now the next thing you want to do is again click device. You're going to want to select the 512K chip which is what you want to burn it to. Click select. Again, machine tells you 512 has been selected, proper location, no adapter required. You're going to want to blank check your new chip. You're going to want to write to it. You're going to want to verify it. So now that you have this information, come back up to code. You will notice that the first bit of information from 000 down to 1FF0 is already filled in for you. But anything past 1FF0, which starts at 2000, you'll notice is all Fs. Fs are blank on this chip. So now we need to fill in these pages. Next page is going to go from 2000 to 4000. So place your cursor right here behind the 2000. Right click and click Paste. You're now going to fill in. It will now automatically fill in all the way down to address 4000. So scroll down to 4000. You'll see the F's begin again. Place your cursor after the 4000. Right click and paste again. Now it'll take you down to 6000. Get to 6000. You'll see the F's start again. Place your cursor. Right click, paste. That's going to take you down to 8,000. Place your cursor after the 8,000. Right click, paste. Come down. Next one's going to be A000. Place your cursor, paste. Down to C, 000, place the cursor, paste. It's always going to, you'll always notice it's where the zeros end and all the F's begin, is what you're looking for. Not to mention it's already highlighted, so it kind of makes it easy for you. Next is E, 000, right click and paste. Down one more time. You'll see that the chip is filled. Now at this point, you're going to want to come over to Auto Mode, click Auto Mode, 
It's blank checking the chip. But it's not writing the chip because I forgot to put it in the socket. So let's put the chip in the socket. Clear the error code that told you the write failed. And go back to auto mode again. It's blank checking the chip. And it's going to write the chip. It's taking a little longer because it is a 512K chip. This is where everybody will pick on you and say this machine isn't fast enough. But it's plenty fast enough for home users. Now it's verifying the chip. Chip is verified. So now at this point, you can remove the chip from there. You now have your 6499 burned to a 512K chip, ready to use in your machine. Now at this point, before you do anything else on the screen, if you elect to, you can go up to File, Save As, SS 6499 dash 512. That way you save that as a bin file. Next time you pull it up, you know that that is an S plus 6499 chip on an F or on a 512K chip. Next time you don't need to do the cut and paste, just bring up the 27512 file that you have saved this chip to and burn it directly like we did in the last file. That's it.